right now my first guest, who I've realised is the perfect guest to help me get my own back, Hunter Nella Lewis. He is the prank master himself. It's Matt Lucas. Right, Matt, I need some help. I, I, I need okay. to prank two of my other Ultimate Playlist presenters. Have you got any thoughts for me, please? Yes, I do. I know about pranks because I've just written a book about pranks. Would you like to see the cover of the book? Yes, please. My very, 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 very silly book of pranks. It's lots of pranks that you can do, number one. And number right. two... It tells you all about the history of pranking. It tells you about famous pranks. And then throughout the book, there's me making silly comments all about the pranks. One of my favourites is to get a load of mashed potato and fashion it into the shape of a bar of soap and then put that <laughs> next to the shower. Yeah, you'll get mashed potato all over your bum. <laughs> Which one can I do to get my own back on the boys? Well, one thing you could do is have a casual conversation about food and say there's a bit of a pasta shortage. And then what you do is you go on YouTube and you find a clip of an episode of Panorama. And they did an April Fool's where they told people that spaghetti grew on trees and that there was a spaghetti Stop harvest. It. And so, yes, of course, spaghetti grows on trees. Brilliant. I think that'll do the trick, you know. But also, what I would like is for you to take part in one of our legendary Ultimate Playlist challenges. Are you up for one? I'm up for it. Right, Matt, here's how the game works. We've both got some statements, some of which are true, but some of which are naughty little lies. We're going to read them to each other, and we've just got to guess who is liar liaring. Are you ready to play? I'm ready to play. So, even before Bake Off, I was a bit of a cake expert, and I made Paul the cake for his birthday on set. What kind of cake did you make for Mr Hollywood? I made a Black Forest Gatto, because I know that's his favourite. I know that's his favourite as well. I remember him saying that. What was Paul's reaction? Maybe a week later, I said, how was it really? He did say it was a little bit underproved. You're lying. Do you know how I know that? How? Because it isn't proven for bread. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Liar! I'm gonna say it's a lie! You're right, it is a lie. I can't bake. During lockdown, I decided to do a bit of research into my family history, and I found out that I am a distant relative of Queen Victoria's husband. What was Queen Victoria's husband's name? Mr. Albert, first of his name, Johnson, actually. How many generations? <laughs> Loads of them. I think you're telling porky pies. Hey, I'm telling porky pies. Yeah, of course you are. I was filming in Rome and I was doing some interviews. The person I was interviewing was a historian and I accidentally called them an onion in Spanish. What was the word that you used that translates to onion? Well, it was onion. Do you remember what sentence you called him an onion in? No, it was something about... Because we were talking about Catalan history. I can't remember the actual sentence, but the map... Because I couldn't work out how I'd done it. I think that sounds very truthful. And I think it is something that you would do innocently, not in a malicious onion-y way. Mm. Why would I be making a show about Catalan history? That's a good point. <laughs> this is a man who oh, writes books yeah. about jokes and pranks. Yeah, exactly. I'm a silly man. My dog, Ducky, she controls the music in my house, so if she doesn't like what I'm playing, she will actively turn it off. If a song comes on, she, like, whacks the laptop with her paw and it, like, pauses it. Have you noticed that there's a type of music that she likes and a type of music that she doesn't? Dogs love reggae, I found out. <laughs> Because <laughs> I was going to say, why don't you put some music on and let's see what happens. Ducky, you enjoying this? Oh. Oh, look, she's angry. Look, <laughs> she's angry. She's clearly too tired to actually turn it off. But did you see then when I put Julie on, she was like... I think you're telling a lie. I'm actually mm. telling the truth, although clearly... Are you? What has happened today has not actually worked. <laughs> But usually she will literally like whack it off if she's not interested. Right, do you know what? We should never, ever, ever let a prank master back on the show because you managed to fool me good and proper.